Hey my lovelies, it's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do this Wednesday's Facebook card reveals for you all. So if you were drawn to card number one, we're going into the energies of the Nine of Pentacles. Now when the Nine of Pentacles shows, this is a real important time just to stop, just to see the beauty, just to see the magic, just to see the richness, the blessings, the abundance that you have accessibility to at the moment. Now, for some of us, when the Nine of Pentacles shows, it is just a celebration that we've reached a point in our life where things perhaps are flowing and feeling quite great, quite comfortable, and almost like we're really creating a lifestyle that sort of works and serves for us. It could also be for some of us that we've been feeling quite overwhelmed. Maybe some of us have been feeling like everything's sort of going wrong or we're not where we're meant to be. And we could actually be really kind of overlooking our our blessings, our richness. You know, a lot of us, all of us are richer than we realise and we choose to acknowledge. But sometimes there's this sort of, um, it's not so much the materialistic side of life, but sometimes there's this um, expectation or there's this pressure that we should have x y z that we should be at a better point in our life than we actually are sometimes perhaps i think we put too much restrictive energy upon ourselves, and we live in a very broken world and i think sometimes you know we get sort of pulled into these falsehoods of we're not doing good enough we're not where we should be and everything else and life isn't perfect you know life is whatever you choose to make it and with this nine of pentacles even if things feel a little bit hard or they are a little bit overwhelming this is almost saying that there is going to be a deep level of success there's going to be a deep level of abundance that kind of comes in i feel it's already there for a lot of us but it's being maybe neglected or a little bit overlooked if you're someone that has had quite a lot of financial problems this is also suggesting and saying that's going to change that's going to shift quite quickly you know so don't be sort of held by your immediate set of circumstances it's almost like your immediate set of circumstances doesn't define your final destination it's just a stepping stone piece it's not the end kind of um goal of where you're going to sort of be and i suppose what spirit are really saying with this card is look at the great abundance look at the richness of what's in your life now it might not feel like it and you might actually be really overlooking stuff but you have the breath of life you have air within your body you have a bed to sleep in you know you have food to eat we're all so much richer we maybe don't have the fast car the beautiful home that perfect relationship maybe those things are a work in progress but we're already rich with what we do have and i just think this card is stopping to really see and value on a deeper level what is there actually and nine is all about mindset. So if you think of the number nine, if you were to draw that on a piece of paper and if it was in front of you, you can choose to see that as number nine. But if somebody was sort of sitting the other side of that number, because it's upside down, it would look like six. So so that number nine is all about perspective, how we choose to see a situation, how we choose to feed into a situation with our energy. And choose to see yourself in an abundant space, not just materialistic abundance, in heart abundance, the in heart energy. Um, so I think that's really, really mega important. So if you have been struggling to see, you know, to see the richness of your life, look a little bit deeper because it exists. It's there. It does matter. OK. And if you are in that space where you're really knowing and appreciating that there is that abundance around you, own it, harness it, you know, feel blessed in the beauty of what's being created so far. So quite an interesting one to sort of start off with if you've been drawn to number one. Now then, guys, as we're moving into card number two, we are going into the energies of the star. Now then, when the star shows, this is all about really harnessing your best life your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your aspirations. It's a great time to manifest and really sort of think that what you seek can become, okay? The other thing with the star is in order to sort of have this kind of, you know, real fulfillment of wishes and sort of magic, we have to really own the shadows of our sort of life. So people sometimes think that the star is really sort of 
fabulous and great and positive and it can be all of those things but don't sort of overlook or don't discredit the healing journey that's happened to get to the energy of the star the star is not just an immediate accessible energy line that we have instant access to we have to really own and embrace the shadows of our past for the beauty of the star to sort of shine for the beauty of the star to be seen so it could be for some of you that you've been really going quite deep with a personal healing journey at the moment. It could be that some of you have really been embracing the traumas, the shadow side of your life in order to come out of a place of victorious energy. Because the star is about being very real, very authentic, very at peace with the essence of who we are. And it's that energy of peace that allows for greater energy, that allows for better quality experiences to kind of come forward so it's time to shine that little bit brighter than before it's time to be seen as you it's time to walk an authentic pathway and own it so you can be shining brightly and in competition with nobody else all these other stars can shine their independent light and it doesn't have to take anything from you or whatever you can still shine your sort of truth into the world but it's a mega important time to really be truthful really be honest with what you want how you want your life to be and if, you, if there's pockets or areas of things that are not quite in place, give yourself permission for better. That's what this is about, you know. But aim big, reach for the stars because it's your time. And finally, as we're moving into card number three, we're going into the energies of the Five of Cups. Now, when the Five of Cups shows, this really could feel like some of you might be um, at a point where you're almost feeling like you're just ready to give up. Maybe some of you might feel like you've really dropped the ball on yourself at the moment. Uh, maybe you're, some of you are just feeling very consumed in problems. It could be grief. It could be anxiety. There could be some real deep depression or mental health. It could just feel like you're not getting anywhere very fast. You might feel like it's sort of one step forward and 20 steps back. And it's all just a bit heavy. It's all a bit kind of gloomful in this card, really. And it's about looking a bit deeper, a bit like the message with the first card, really. So even though there's three cups that have spilt over, you still have these two to the side of you. And it's like you've turned your back on your gifts. You've turned your back on your blessings. You've turned the back on yourself. You've dropped the ball on yourself, essentially. And it's picking these two cups up, sort of taking the stuff you still have access to and creating that next adventure, that next sort of story in your journey book of life. There's a bridge here and it leads to like a new castle. So there's new adventures to be had. There's there's still life to experience, to discover, to explore. Don't let your immediate situations ruin or rob the longer term opportunities of what lies ahead for you. But it's being brave enough to own that as well and to think, OK, I can't change this, but I can make a difference here. And it's owning it. You know, it's really important to own it. So it is a really, really mega important time to sort of move forward, to cross the bridge, find a way to get across the bridge, to keep moving. And it might be that on route you have to burn some bridges as well, perhaps, you know. But we can, what we think, what we feed into creates our physical reality. I say this all the time because it's so true. So if you feel like your life is crap and rubbish or a bit shit, you're going to attract more of that lower level energy. You're going to feel like probably your life is that way. But if you actually think, I'm going to take these two and create something better, you'll start to attract better. It might not be immediate, it might take a bit of time, but you'll be really surprised over a couple of days, over a week, over a month, over a year. All of a sudden, your situation, your story, your life will be in a completely different place because you didn't choose to stay stuck here. OK, so don't let your immediate problems or worries tarnish the longer term opportunities that sort of lie ahead for you uh definitely so i hope you can make sense of these cards an interesting set i'm going to leave them with you stay well stay safe stay fabulous uh, a couple of shouts just to say that this kind of um weekend i am in hungerford on saturday and i'm over in martok on sunday doing a whole weekend of private one-to-one -one readings so i'm really looking forward to seeing some of you lovelies there and um yeah i think that's it really no demos this week next week i'll be doing the demo night in bristol with the girls i have a guest spot um in hannam 
Community Centre Bristol. So that night is now fully sold out. So if you're coming to see me there um, with the girls, thank you so much for buying a ticket. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. So I think that's all I've got demo wise as well. So yeah, it's an interesting time. Anyway, have a cool one. Have a beautiful week. I hope these messages resonate and make a bit of sense for you. And I will see some of you lovelies at the various events coming up or on Zoom or Facebook video chat throughout the week. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.